Assalamu alaikum and most welcome to Moshad Maths Tutorial. How are you my dear students? This is the second lesson for you. In the first lesson, I hope you have learned the square format of the basic algebraic formula. Today, I am going to discuss the cubic format of the basic algebraic formula. Let's start. Cubic format. Okay. Here, a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube equal. This is the formula for a plus b whole cube. Right? So we can write a plus b whole cube. This is the equation number one. Actually, this a plus b whole cube can also be written as one more format which as implies a cube plus b cube plus if we, if we see these two terms carefully, both of them have 1, 3, 1, A, and 1, B common. So, if we take 3, A, B as a common, then the remaining parts will be A plus B equal A plus b whole cube this is the equation number two okay let's see the next line if you derive the formula of a cube plus b cube then we'll get a cube plus b cube equal if we move to left side to right side then here plus sign after changing it will be minus so we can write a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b this is the equation number three okay let's see the next line equal a plus b whole cube can be written as a plus b multiplied by a plus b whole square means a plus b whole cube means a plus b multiplied to itself three times so here uh, one time and here two times and this one remain fixed 3ab multiplied by a plus b it is seen that a plus B existing in between two terms. So if we take A plus B as a common, then what happened? A plus B taking as a common, then the remaining terms will be A plus B whole square minus 3AB. Okay, close the bracket. Now the next line will be a plus b okay inside the bracket if if we expand this a plus b whole square we can write a square plus 2ab plus b square this one remain fixed right am i clear to am i clear to you still okay so next line will be a plus b inside the bracket we have first term a square we have second term here plus 2ab here minus 3ab so it will be minus ab plus b square you can put uh, first bracket also no problem this is the Equation number 4. 
actually these two are a plus b whole cube formula and this is the corollary form of a cube plus b cube and this is the factorization formula for a cube plus b cube right are you got my points i hope so so this one is the plus format uh, means a plus b whole cube and a cube plus b cube similarly uh, with the help of same procedure we can do a minus b whole cube also okay let us start here a cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square minus b cube this is the formula for a minus b whole cube right a minus b whole cube same way this one can also be written as a cube minus b cube so if you take in between two terms 3ab then the remaining terms will be here minus 3ab common so a and here plus and here minus plus or minus a goes to minus so sign will be changed equal a minus b whole cube this is the equation number five and this is the equation number six okay if you if if you or we derive the formula of a cube minus b cube then we can write a cube minus b cube equal a minus b whole cube if we interchange this one left to right so sign will be changed here minus sign is there so it will be plus so we can write plus 3ab into a minus b actually this is the corollary form of a cube minus b cube so this is the equation number seven this a minus b whole cube can be written as a minus b multiplied by a minus b whole square plus 3ab multiplied by a minus b this one remain fixed so in between two terms a minus b as a common so if we take a minus b as a common then the remaining terms then the remaining terms will be a minus b whole square plus 3ab okay so next line will be a minus b inside the bracket if we expand a minus b whole square we can write a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 3ab right you got it i hope so so the next line will be a minus b inside the bracket we have first term a square we have second term minus 2ab plus 3ab it will be plus ab plus b square with the bracket this is the equation number eight actually this is the factorization formula for a cube minus b cube so i hope these are the a cubic format of basic algebraic formula the thing is that what are the applications of this formula next class i will discuss the application of basic algebraic formula that's all for today inshallah see you again in the next lesson till then keep safe and healthy thank you all allah hafiz bye bye